Now to continue on and press on, hopefully, uh, the only way the Germans are going to be able to uh, prevent any further advance is to divert a bunch of units from the Russian front over here. And I'm just going to continue sending units into France. And let's see what I can do. With some, let's take a look at any U-boats. I don't see anything. Yeah, just up uh, in the north here against the Soviet Union. But I think pretty much a lot of the U-boats are gone already from the Central Atlantic. And now that the bases of uh, Bre Brest, Saint-Nazaire, and Bordeaux are going to be not available. So it's going to be, the U-boats are going to have to enter through the North Sea or base in Norway to get replenished. So I can put the destroyers up in that area. And going to start sending some all the way to the bases way up north so they can get replenished and I'm going to leave the bases in the south mainly for uh, transports to Europe uh, this headquarters I think got damaged at sea so I can do some more repairs here Upgrade the ground attack weapons. All right, let's leave them there. And hopefully I can put them to use next turn or in the subsequent terms to soften up cities and bomb them so I can capture them. Uh, let's see. majority of the destroyers I think pretty much everything is safe I'll leave the American ones in the channel this one up here for repairs next turn let's keep these two units in Bordeaux yeah I don't see anything there and the uh, airborne hmm. all right so I got an airborne unit here and I can prepare to drop them down towards here later on another American headquarter I'll put that one up here just and then he can deploy into Europe uh, later on and get off the transport to upgrade these tactical bombers ground attack Operate these mediums to England for now, so I got more air power. I get as much air power as possible. That's going to destroy any Axis air powers that oppose. So 
So two more are going to be heading over to England. Okay, I got to keep a lookout on the income. Let's look at the United States research. Definitely need to improve our ground attack weapons. Um, maybe do advanced fighters the next turn. We got all this warfare here, amphibious warfare. It's always good to keep on researching that for the Pacific War and improve the ability of the Marines to land. We'll still have 176 left. Do an upgrade here with the special forces. Only the infantry weapons. And I can switch them out and eventually I can get these. Let's upgrade these first. Next turn we can reinforce. And just keep the fleet down here. done this and now Transport them to Hawaii and get them ready for operations. They'll be able to get amphibious transports and start uh, landing on some key places here. So I have another aircraft carrier ready to join. So I'm going to have three aircraft carriers and there's more coming. And let's upgrade the infantry weapons. Now let's do another. Now since this entire fleet here is Upgrade the anti-submarine warfare. I don't think that's quite necessary, but I want to do a sweep again. Check this port out. All right, let's go back. I don't want to use cruise speed here. I want to check this out. Okay, this one's empty. Tarawa. Okay, I hope this fleet doesn't come here. Well, it doesn't hurt to... Anti-submarine warfare, I still want to... Well, I just need to investigate what's out here, and I'm still protected here. I'm just doing a little spy recon. 
Uh, there is this uh, maritime bomber. Let's set one to combat air patrol just in case. This gets attacked, they can provide uh, cover. And that's pretty much it for the Americans. Uh, British still have plenty left. Let's get the New Zealand Corps going. Okay, the Australians gonna invade next turn. Purchase UK. All right, but 363. Before I purchase that, let me just look at Africa first. I'm going to have to. Right, I took this part. Do some upgrades here. Only eight. Yeah, let me upgrade these units. Advanced fighters. Yeah, let's put some aircraft on these planes. That's why I saved some money. May need them for an assault. All these units are upgraded and they're ready to amphibiously invade. Mm. All right, and operate. This one's going to be. I gotta upgrade the weapons on these two also. I pretty much used up everything that I wanted and I guess next turn I can start looking into probably October, November, start landing in Sicily. But I need to keep the pressure up. So that is everything. Do have a unit that I got over here? Nope. I think I've forgotten any transports or any ships mo ship movements. So that's everything I want to do this turn. Let's see. I think I got two British ships here. Yeah. They're going to sail and reinforce this part of the... Yes, another submarine. And I can bring in these British submarines to start harassing these convoys here. One more. And eventually I'm going to want to do the same thing with the American submarines. Let's look at India. Let's start moving this unit. And harassed his headquarters because it is covering wanting.
right to carry to advance fighters. All right, that's UK. And India, I'm just gonna save money and just build some more forces. And just keep on rebuilding and just putting pressure and just gonna come in into Burma. Once I get all the carriers over here and air units, uh, it's gonna be a one-sided battle, I'm pretty sure. All right, now let the allies and the AI move. Let's end the turn. Oh, the counterattack is beginning. Oh, doesn't look like Kuibi Chef is going to fall. Maybe too late for the Germans, just in the nick of time. Danish resistance, okay. What the USSR need is infantry weapons, I think. But I get that soon. Well, the morale has increased since the landings in France, so that should help. going to France. So that's less in front of Moscow. Oh, there they are. Okay. It's all a diversion from the Eastern Front. It looks like it's going to give the Soviets a little local superiority uh, on the Moscow area. Uh...
that is the natural course of action for the Germans is that after the fall of Stalingrad is uh, to head down south towards the Caucasus. But here, even the Chinese can be threatened, that little pocket in the south. The you know, Japanese just have to liquidate that, and then they can march towards Chongqing. Yeah, so the Italians and Germans are making a little headway towards the Caucasus, but it may not work because the Soviets do have units. That could be trouble. And it doesn't look like Leningrad is going to fall. That's going to be a constant battle there for a while. And there has been no attempt on the city of Moscow itself, and it's pretty strong. Oh, no. That German unit's advancing too far. Oh. Good, I can reinforce my... Uh, maritime bombers. Good. So there has been no counterattacks against the American units, so I can hold. And a bunch of German units have been um, diverted to the west. And I think that's the first turn that no Soviet unit was destroyed on the front. So... Yeah, that, I think that's the first turn the Soviets did not lose anything. Uh, Liverpool, that's fine. USA tanks, finally. And more aircraft. Right, these two are going to be able to send over, so I'm going to have to make some room here. Aha, yeah, a whole bunch of German units came. And all came from Russia. I think now it's best to start moving. All right, uh, Kevishi is not at war yet, so my goal is to move British units. I want to move all the British units coming from Europe and move them towards the southern front here and eventually declare war against Vichy, take it, and then the British units are going to be going towards northern Italy to take some national morale objectives, and that's going to coincide with the invasion of Sicily and Italy. So I may be able to knock out Italy by capturing some of these national morale objectives uh, with a quick s sweep through Vichy, while the Americans are going to be concentrating on pushing the Germans. But this is actually very good. Move south. This unit needs to be reinforced. And... You need to push the units. Like I said, the British are going to be more in this direction. All right, there's only a garrison unit at Bordeaux, and that can fall pretty quickly. I got to get the units forward. That's what's more important. any German attacks. Just hope I can soak them off. Just 
Let's move forward and uh, get the headquarters forward. Yeah, now nothing can go into Bordeaux. And I'm going to be able to take that. Uh, the Canadian armor unit. Let's see, I think I want to concentrate on just... I think it's important to... Uh, to hit the armor units with uh, the bombers. All right, let's let's hit the armor unit here and soak up some fighters. Perfect. There's a German army units, they have two strikes, and it's better to destroy them with the air units. All right. British Bomber Command. All right, no fighters in vicinity, so. So now I can bring some tacticals. Medium bomber against the city. Yeah, that is within striking distance. Let's see, anything else I can use? Okay, I used up all the bombers, so now let's assault it with these units. This Canadian unit didn't do much, but it's, it's just going to soak up. As we'll attack the fighters so we can plenish. I don't want to bring him over here yet. Uh, Weaken it. I don't like attacking cities with armor units. Okay, let's. The American units need to. I need to bring over some more. operate a fighter over towards this area just to counter any other British uh, German fighters yeah I think there's only one over here Another land unit, and they're going to be going towards Bordeaux and Vichy. And uh, 
Uh, look, okay, this one doesn't have proper infantry weapons, so I'm going to have to upgrade that one. But that will come... Upgrade the fighters. That's going to be important because that's what's going to destroy the Luftwaffe fighters, our upgraded fighters. Then I can use all my bombers just to pound on German armor. going to be able to replenish the units at the front and get the British down so they can push towards Vichy. Uh, Alright, let's prepare for the African operation. Right, nothing can land here, so I may as well just upgrade these armies while they're just here. As well, just give them the full upgrades, and then this one can be prepared. And uh, get these units ready, infantry ready, and that's the three of them ready to go. weapons and mobility. Let's get the aircraft carriers ready to assist. Supply is not that great in North Africa, but Just in case I remember there was a German fighter in that area. These will get ready to transport. I got all these guys ready, and the uh, European operation is continuing, and now I got three units, and Cherbourg is ready to uh, get trans uh, open for activity. So I can move the British down here and then open up Vichy at the Bordeaux Falls. So I'm going to do that. Look at all these German units that are, and they all came from Russia, I can tell you that, so that's going to be nice, uh, nice bombing targets. I'm going to put most of the Air Force down here, the bombers, so they can just uh, target it. That's going to be really good.
All right, let's use to rebuild some of these destroyers. And the Germans have not attacked this British unit here, so that's actually a good sign. It's a nuisance, but good. <laughs> Upgrade the infantry weapons on this paratroop. And... Let's continue the journey. Take a look over here. Reinforce the aircraft. Just weaken this Japanese unit here. I wonder if I can attack with two units from this direction. That would be wouldn't be so bad. Let's put a submarine over here. See if I can draw out anything else. Battleship here. And I'm going to be launching an invasion towards Penang with this unit in the next few turns. So Europe's pretty much done. Operate a unit. There's just not enough space here. That's the big problem. Put this bomber here that can assist. Also in the bombing of Cain, because the German fortifications are being uh, gradually destroyed. I got 344 left. Let's keep on blockading Bordeaux. It's going to weaken that unit. And get the invasion of Italy prepared for that. Now let's do some operations in the Pacific. Uh, the United, United States still has some money left, so. Yeah, why not send another unit in this direction that I can assist and possibly capture La Chio. Upgrade mobility, all right. That's where we can spend India. Yeah, the India got mobility. Why not? These units can get it too, so. Let's just move back here and just build. I know there's another army coming, so I'm going to be launching a full offensive. And rather than just a little bit at a time, I'd just rather do a very, very strong one power push that's just going to wipe out these Japanese units and cause uh, some more from China to come over. This unit, what did I say? Where did I say I was going? Uh, Makassar, right? All right, nobody home. All right, so Makassar has been taken. I can go back. I 
Okay, this port's growing. So once that gets up to five, I can move this unit, get these units ready for amphibious operations. American destroyer. Oh no! Whoa, I didn't even see that. All right. But all right, first I gotta reinforce the American. Whoa! Okay, the British don't have much, but uh, damn, they're coming right down with their battleships. Is this good or bad? Okay, the submarine's going to go down here for repairs. Whoa. They do take damage, but... No damage, please. Took a little bit. Ow. Battleships. can upgrade my infantry weapons. I don't know. Maybe I should just... Oh, no! There's another... The entire Jap fleet. Let's get back. All right, sunk one. Good. Taking out the destroyer, and well, if I lose a cruiser, I'm not going to cry. All right, took that one down. Damn, how many of these guys are there? Submarine, damn it. All right, took down another cruiser. So this is this is really going to be... Because if that's the whole Japanese fleet and it's just getting destroyed by the Australians... I figured it'd dive. There it is. I may lose one ship, but that, that should do it. And then maybe I can... Uh... Alright, there goes another Japanese ship. Excellent. And let's move the destroyer. I'm going to put this one right over here because I, I think they're going to battle and try to destroy uh, one of my ships, but 
Let's retreat that one. If I lose one, it doesn't matter, but wow. I do have some, I do have a air unit here in case it retreats. I'll be able to catch them in, in a submarine. So I think Japanese brought their whole Navy down into the Coral Sea. Wow. And it's nice that I was able to uh, destroy it with most of my surface fleet from Australia. So this is why I'm glad I brought my units over. Let's bring this destroyer over here in case the ship tries to escape through New Britain. Oh, good. I got him surrounded. Yeah, they may destroy one battleship or one cruiser, but... I'm going to come in, and I do have these maritime air units uh, to catch them on a retreat, which means, let's take a look over here. Nothing on Wake Island. Oh, there's a carrier in any we talk. Let's take a look at the weather. I need to, oh no, it's bad weather everywhere. I don't think so. Oh, I sunk the Akagi, uh, whatever, carry. Let's get back here. I don't think there's any Japanese ships there. Well, let's bring out... Bring the destroyer escort. That whole Japanese fleet went down in that direction, so now I'm I feel bold enough. Got all the escorts here and uh any we talk. Uh, do I have the right infantry weapon? Yes. Get these Marines ready, and we're going to invade any we talk and start uh, island chain hopping with these guys. Yeah, I caught a carrier. Let's see how many ships they have left. There's only six ships left in the Japanese Navy, and three of them are right here and a submarine, so it's four. So the whole Japanese fleet is right down here. Which means that my fleet up here is going to be, it cannot be molested. Oh, we got another carrier coming. Excellent. And next turn, I got to make sure to prepare the air units for the right mode. So I got three carriers ready for offensive operations against the Japanese held islands, uh, Wake, any we talk, Kwajalein, Tarawa, all these islands. And I'm gonna get these three marine units once they're all upgraded properly. They're gonna load on transports and start heading in this direction. Tarawa probably. I don't know if there's anything on Nauru. But uh, I like to have like three attackers, uh, two guys, Three of them hit with their ships, and then one lands and attacks on the ground. And that's like, you're going to get like four attacks. And that's the beauty about having Marines with uh, amphibious transport technology, is because you have these uh, attacks. Now, I wasn't able to do that in Guadalcanal because it was all shielded. So my attacks were solely done by land. But these islands here, 
I can attack with multiple units. And you have to also remember that once you do your amphibious attack from the sea, uh, the unit has to land. And you have to land and then reload again to get that, that first shot, amphibious shot. But once they land on the ground, they have enough. So now my offensive is going in full swing over against the Japanese islands. And let's make sure that I didn't forget anything. Now I'm going to do a nuisance. I got another long range amphibious transport. Why not? Let's head for over here, uh, Sakhalin Island. Just, you know, take five or six points at a time. If they're undefended, take them. That's the whole point. It's just, this is how you ruin the enemy's economy, is take undefended points if they're for free. Like I just took uh, Makassar, so that's more points for the Imperial Forces and the United States and less for the Japanese. And then eventually I'm going to build up a massive attack in Burma. But just picking off units one by one. To reinforce this marine unit. So I'm going to have another one. Uh, Minato is probably open. Uh, this Australian one can probably land on Minato. Uh, this is going to be for marines, I guess. But these marines are going to be heading towards Tarawa and Nauru. While these marines are going to start uh, taking any Weetok, Wake Island, and all these here. So going to be breaking the Japanese uh, chain. And the Japanese don't have a, are not going to have a fleet to defend anymore. Unless the best thing they can do is just pull these battleships back and just try to use them defensively somewhere because... Even if they knock off one or two of my ships here, I mean, that's it. The Navy is destroyed. So, wow, I'm glad they attacked in a Coral Sea. <laughs> and I had plenty of units here. Now, let's see, for Europe, we got prepared everything. And once I got units landed in Italy, uh, Sicily and Italy, I'm going to start moving this fleet and those carriers into the Pacific. Because that's where they're going to become useful and just going to be massive. Uh, those two extra carriers from the Mediterranean are going to be very useful in providing air cover for the invasion of Burma. So this is my general strategic plan, though. I have made some small tactical blunders here. But, you know, strategically I've been able to uh, do pretty well. And let's save the money here for the United States. And let's await the AI turn, and I guess then they'll be good uh, to end the episode. Just hope no Western units here get destroyed by the Germans, but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be looking for German Panzer armored units, and this is what my air units are going to target and bomb, because they have experience from the Eastern Front, and they get two shots. Let's see what the Soviets do. I'll just one one quick check here. I just don't want to miss anything. All my ships have moved. Got a New Zealand unit that can join the Australian Army and its offensives in the South Pacific. You know, this garrison unit. What these will be good for, these three garrison units, is to garrison some of the islands here. Just as I get closer, so that way the Japanese don't retake them. I don't think they will. I don't think they have the funds to do that. Their main concern is China and defending uh, the Asian mainland. So they're going to be pressing in that direction and only using naval units. I don't think they're going to be building marines and doing any more invasions because... Uh, it's going to get dangerous with my fleet so huge that any amphibious operations can possibly get intercepted. And I do have these uh, maritime air units that can look out for them. So that can look pretty bad. Let's put this uh, submarine up here. 
away from these islands. Okay. Yeah, I think these part of the Solomons are still, uh, the Japanese can see what's adjacent, so. But this is really a gift here. I'm glad I set a trap here with uh, building a fleet over here on the Australian fleet, so. What ships are these? Oh, just battleship. There. Oh, the Fuso and the Furutaka. All right, let's go next turn. Go counterattack the Germans here. Throw them away from Moscow. I don't, I don't know what the meaning of all these railroad movements are, but unless he's going to deploy more units in Moscow, I, I don't know. A lot of these moves don't make sense to me. And there's like about eight headquarters. I don't know. Gets me. All right, Winston Churchill. Uh, would you like the Azores? We're well, sure. For 25, I mean, I get supply points. Yeah, of course, take them. I get 10 points a turn, so yeah, that's a good investment for the rest of the game. Well, the Soviets didn't do any offensive act. I guess they're just building up, but I think they could have done some. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to recapture Midway soon. Okay, heavy bombers, long-range aircraft. That's all good. Advanced tanks. Infantry warfare. That helps the Soviets. So now the Soviets should be mounting, building up and mounting some counterattacks and possibly pushing the Germans uh, westwards. Well, the Germans are mainly going to concentrate in containing uh, the D-Day landings. But Japan is getting picked off little by little. Looks like a German mechanized unit is going to be cut off completely. If the Germans don't launch any offensives and just okay, lost a cruiser, but I think all three of these ships are going to be. Oh, okay. My naval losses are ne negligent compared to what the Japanese have lost. Oh, this unit's cut off. That's foolish. That's a suicide attack. That's a suicide attack, too. Yeah, it looks like this pocket here in China, the Changsha pocket, is going to eventually get squeezed out. I don't think Leningrad's going to fall. But Salsk will, yeah. Time to drive for the Caucasus. 
And here comes the big offensive on Chung King. Chow may fall. So big axis offensive in Greece. Well, the Soviets look like they're ripe uh, for a counterattack in the Moscow area. And they can attack from Kuibyshev. Doesn't look like the Germans are going to make much progress in the Caucasus because they, Krasnodar, that whole area is just fortified. And it, once Italy gets knocked out of the war, that's going to be a major blow to the Eastern Front, especially in the Stalingrad area. Yeah, I don't think I think Leningrad will hold. That's good. Now oh, there's a nice juicy target there. But my battleships are weak. I'm going to have to retreat them, but Do I have maritime bombers? Well, first I'm going to have to supply them. Okay, I lost a destroyer and a cruiser. All right, third U.S. tanks. So I got 14th Army in India. Excellent. Upgrade mobility. Let's do the Indians. Go to wanting so I can possibly upgrade. I'm just going to upgrade all these mobilities here for the Indians, and that's going to enable them to uh, make a better offensive in the jungle. All right, uh, that's pretty much it over here. But having two units attacking these. And if I can destroy these headquarters, that's really nice. Head back to Makassar. And I, I want to resolve this here before I even go. Let's do one thing here. I don't have the range, but I can upgrade these guys to long range so I can hit some of these ships. Uh, my two, I do have a shot over here. Okay, this battleship needs to... Go for repairs, as well as this one, as well as this one for repairs. Let's upgrade this one. Oh, there's a sub. Oh, 
I can't reach the battleship. Oh, let's get the heck out. This battleship's a bit strong. And this air unit just... Should have just damn it. I should have just moved him into the city here. This was stupid. I need to move him into the city because I've only upgraded by one. That was idiotic. Uh, I gotta pull back. I don't think there's any more carriers left now. Ah, uh, these three the two battleships I'm going to have to. Uh, I need to move them in the city here. I'll get them. Let's bring this British one in. He's needed over here right now. I do want to get these ships. Oh, I do badly. Nah, it doesn't make sense. So let's keep this. Well. No, I don't want to do that. Let's leave him here. That's where he's supposed to be. To assist ground operations. And before I go, let's uh, prepare for the invasion. Let's take a look here. Okay, there's no German air unit. There's a unit in Palermo. Put the cruiser over here. And it's raining. Oh, for God's sakes, this is not even gonna. Oh, this is done poorly. I should have moved and attacked. How to make these mistakes all the time. I can knock that one out. Oh, come on! You know, every time you just get one little thing where it's just down to one unit, and watch, I'm not going to get that. Oh, I did get that one. Let's move up. All right, I was able to land the British units in Sicily. All right, so the landings have happened, and it's going to be a matter of time. I'm going to go for Palermo, and then just bring these units ashore. And, well, I can't use any air units over here, so 
That's a bummer. I guess all that's left is to reinforce the units along the front here and just start moving down in this direction and prepare for an attack on Vichy. That should divert some more German units. Yeah, we're getting to winter in November, so the weather's not going to be that good. Okay, so I think uh, this is a good time to leave this episode. And once again, thank you for watching.